Now this is a problem on uh, differentiation or related rate of change and also differential equations. So I would like you to read this question slowly and try to uh, write whatever information is given and that's uh, a good skill to do when you uh, have a question like this which looks really daunting. So let's read it slowly. A triangular fish tank, sorry, a fish tank has triangular cross section. So it has got a triangular cross section. So this is a cross section. So if you look from one end, it looks like a triangle or it's a triangle, right angle. It's a triangle. The length is 75 centimeters, width is 45 and depth is 30. Initially, it is full of water. After five days, the depth of water dropped to 28 centimeters. So let's write this information. How do you write this? So basically, when you say it is full of water, the height of this tank is 30 centimeters. So we can say, well, when time is zero, the height of water was 30. It was full tank. And when t is phi, or after five days, the height dropped to 28 centimeters. So this is first information. The rate of evaporation is proportional is proportional to the surface area of water. So whenever you have the proportion, the word proportion, you have to put a constant. So basically what we are saying is the the rate of evaporation is dependent on the surface area of, the, of water. Initially it had a larger surface area and as it evaporates evaporates the evap uh, sorry the rate of evaporation is going to decrease or it's dependent on the surface area so we can write this like this dv by dt the rate the rate of evaporation you can also say the rate of decrease of the volume of water is proportional to the area of water that's what is given, area of water. So how would you write this? What's the area of water or area of water surface? Well, the width, the length is always going to be 75 and the width is going to be W. So it started with 45, it keeps decreasing and the width is going to be zero. So the area of water, so if you want to write this as a notation, so dV by dt, is equal to as if you remove the proportionality sign you have to put a constant so k times the area which is 75 w okay so that's one information so let's put this aside and we may use it later okay <clears throat> now we want to find calculate calculate how long uh, the water in the tank takes to evaporate completely so basically the question is, what is the time after how many days does the height become zero? That's the question basically. So this should lead you to understand that we have to find dh by dt. So this is a lead for you to understand that we have to find dh by dt. So we want to find the relation between h and t. Okay, what can we do now? So let's do the next part where you have to find a relationship between W and H. So let's write the volume. So what's the volume of water? So the vol. Okay, so let's first write before that what is the cross section? CSA stands for cross sectional area. So we're talking about this triangle triangle is this the cross section is a triangle so let me draw this triangle and this is one of the most important thing in this example to find the ratio between <coughs> w and h okay so what can we do now <coughs> so here let me draw one more triangle so here so this is here so basically, so if this is, this is 45 over 2, this is half of 45. So this would be W over 2. 
this is going to be w over 2 so let me show this again here so what I'm saying is suppose if you drop a perpendicular from the year to year and yet I'm drawing this triangle this is the triangle that I'm focusing this triangle and this triangle so what I'm saying is if this is w so this is 45 over 2 this is 45 because this width is 45 the top width is 45 so this would be half of 45 and this is this is w this if this is w this is going to be w over 2 i hope you can see the green color okay what else can we say we know this height the total height is 30 so we can say the total height i'll write 30 out and this height is h is this is h and these two triangles are proportional okay so let me say what are the triangles i'm talking about i'm talking about this dotted triangle this green triangle which is inside you can understand these two triangles are proportional so the sides are the corresponding sides are proportional and this is the dotted triangle i hope you can see that the this is sorry this is the mother triangle the blue triangle is the mother triangle and the green triangle is the dotted triangle <coughs> so let me first write the cross section what will be the area of the cross section <coughs> area of the cross section would be uh, what how would you find the area area is half base times height so half times base the base is w <coughs> the base is w and uh, the height is height so the area of cross section is half times w times h okay so csa is the area of cross section would be half of w times h so my intention is now to write can i find a relation between w and h well i can say if you take the ratio like this w over 2 divided by the corresponding sides is side is 45 over 2 is equal to if you take h this side corresponds to this side this w over 2 corresponds to 45 over 2 and h corresponds to 30 so the half gets cancelled so this is w uh, over 45 is equal to h over 30 so w multiplying both sides by 45 is 45 over 30 h so w is 3 over 2 h so the relation between w and h is the width is always going to be one and a half times of height which is very clear obviously here yeah, if you look at the given if you look at the 45 the top width is 45 and the height is 30 so if you look at the ratio 45 you can see is directly 1.5 times of 30 so you can also directly use it or prove it like this so we can say that this is so in place of w i can replace it by h because ultimately i want to write this in terms of h that's why i'm writing in terms of w so i can say csa cross area of cross section is half times 3 over 2 h times h so we can say csa area of cross section is equal to 3 quarter h squared okay now volume so let me write volume here yeah. so what's the volume volume is of any shape is always csa that the cross area of cross section cross sectional area times the depth or the length whatever you say here yeah, the depth is 75 so volume would be three quarter sorry three half sorry i made a mistake here this should be half times half is three quarter it's always good to check your working so half times three half is three quarter so this would be three quarter h squared 
times your depth is 75. So this, this implies volume is 75 times 2 is 225 over 4 h squared. So volume as a function of height is 225 over 2 over 4 h squared. So now can we say differentiating this with respect to h, dv by dh would be this will become 2h, so this will be 225h over 2. So this is one thing that we can say. Okay, what's the next thing? We now know this is w is 3 over 2. So I will write, I can write, let me change color. Let me use a different color. So I'm going to change this. What can I do? I can say dv by dt is equal to what? dv by dt is k times 75 times 3 over 2h. So let me drag this up. So now we can say dv by dt becomes what? This is 225 uh, h k divided by 2. So this is dv by dt. Okay, now the next step is the most important step. We want to find dh by dt, as I told you. We want to find a relation between h and t, okay, and that's why that's the ultimate goal is. So let me start with, let me use a different color. So dh by dt. dh by dt this is what I generally tell my students. If you, Whatever you want to find, you start with dh by dt, you have to start with dh. Now, you don't know dh by dt, but you do know dh by dv. Because from dv by dh, you can write dh by dt. Sorry, from dv by dh, you can write dh by dv. So, why did I start with dh? Because I want dh. And then... From dv by dh, I can write dh by dv. And to cancel this dv, I have to have a dv here. And to get a dt, I have to have a dt here. It's as simple as that. So let's substitute what is dh by dv. This is the reciprocal of this. So this will be 2 over 225h times. This would be dv by dt as it is. So this will be 225hk divided by 2. So what gets cancelled? Everything gets cancelled. 225h, 225h gets cancelled, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So this implies dh by dt is constant. Now this is a very interesting result. So what are we saying? The rate at which the height of water is decreasing is constant. Okay, now this k should ultimately be negative because the rate of change is uh, negative. So what are the other information we have? We know, so now before that, we have to, so dh by dt is equal to k, which implies, I can say dh is equal to k dt. So now integrating both sides, let me do it here, I need more space. This implies integration of dh is equal to k times integration of dt, which implies h is equal to kt plus c. So this is an equation relating, relating h, and, h and t. So what do we know? When t is 0, how much is the height? Height is 30. So if you put this in this equation, we can say uh, I hope you can see that c is going to be 30, and that does make sense. When height, when time was 0, time was 0, the height is going to be 30. So we can now write h is equal to kt plus 30. When time was 0, the height is 30. The second information that we have is after 5 days, the height became 28. So let's put again this in this equation. So what will happen? 28 is equal to kt 
plus 30. Now taking away 30 from both sides. Sorry, I made a mistake here. I should put I should put phi. So k times phi plus 30. Now taking away 30 from both sides, minus 2 is equal to phi k. So this implies k is equal to minus 2 fifth. And that does make sense. k has to be negative because it is decreasing. The height is constantly decreasing. So we can now say h is equal to minus 2 fifth t plus 30. Now we are almost there. Now we are going to put h as 0 and you have to find t. Okay, so what's the t when height is 0? So let's put this here. So 0 is equal to negative 2 fifth t plus 30. Taking away 30 from both sides, minus 30 is equal to minus 2 fifth t. I'm multiplying both sides by negative phi over 2. If you multiply this side by minus phi over 2, it also multiply this side by minus phi over 2. So this gets cancelled. This cancels with this. So now we can say this implies t is equal to how much? This is going to be plus 150 divided by 2, which is 75 days. So in other words, after 75 days, the height is going to be zero or the complete water is going to be evaporated.